So using Camtasia to create video tutorials is actually pretty easy. It's not a super powered video editing suite, but that's kind of the point. We're creating short video tutorials, not full blown DVDs. Besides, the more powerful the software, the more complicated they can be. Camtasia is pretty simple, so I'll do my best here to show you the basics and have you on your way to creating your first video tutorial. So once you open Camtasia, you start by importing or creating video clips. If you're recording actions on your screen, simply start by clicking record the screen. Now, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just capture the entire screen, but I really prefer to cut out all the extra distractions and the taskbar. To limit the area captured on video, select the region of the screen option and click next. From here, click the select region button to draw a box around the area that you want to record. Click next to open the Camtasia recorder and from there just click record to start capturing whatever you do in that area. So just as an example here we'll stick with something very simple like getting a copy of Pat Flynn's ebook and signing up for his newsletter. Just start moving through the steps. You know, open the site, scroll down, keep clicking away through the process. Uh, you can worry about adding callouts and audio later. Now, if you have a lot of steps in the process that you're documenting, you can periodically stop the recording and save small clips that you can move around and edit later. Uh, you can also capture the entire process all the way through. Even if you misclick somewhere, you can go back and edit those parts out. With multiple clips recorded or imported, you can simply drag each clip to the storyboard timeline across the bottom. Uh, if you like, you can click on a spot along the timeline and press the play icon to preview your clips and see how they tra transition between each step. Once you have your video clips on the storyboard, you can start selecting a starting point on the timeline and begin adding callouts. Now these are the text bubbles that I put in tutorial videos. You can select from a variety of arrow shapes, rectangles, or other callout images to hold your text. A lot of folks really like the, uh, the little callout button that looks like someone's speaking and it kind of points to where you're doing the action. Once you've selected your preferred callout shape, enter the text as you want it to appear in, appear in the callout. Um, I usually enter a blank 12 point line just for a little padding within the callout shape and then I format the text to 28 points or higher for reasonable readability after the video is rendered for online viewing. I usually uncheck the keep aspect ratio option. Uh, that way I can stretch the callout shape as needed to best show the text. Uh, then I move the callout shape to the location that I want on the screen. Um, with all that done, I mean, click OK to complete the callout configuration. Click Finish with the callouts, then you can select another point in the timeline and configure your next callout following the same process. Now, with your callouts added, you can start recording and adding audio by selecting a point on the timeline and clicking Voice Narration. Optionally, you can use Audacity or some other audio recording software to record and polish audio clips, then import those WAV files into Camtasia. Uh, the voice narration tool in Camtasia is certainly sufficient though. You need to make sure your microphone is attached where Camtasia thinks it is. Then simply click the start recording button and speak. Uh, press the stop recording button when you're done and save the WAV file. Click finished to set the audio clip. Then you can pick another point in the timeline and record more audio as needed. For a basic video tutorial that's really all you need. The video, the callouts, and the audio. Optionally, you can add transitions by dragging a white function to the storyboard between video clips. It's totally your choice, but I often find them more distracting than helpful to the videos. Um, make sure to play and preview parts or the entire storyboard, and if you're happy with it, you're ready to save and produce the video. Go to the file menu and save the project. The default location for Camtasia project files is the Camtasia Studio folder under your documents folder. 
Name your project something descriptive and click Save. Now you're ready to produce your video. Go to the file menu again and select Produce Video As. If you're planning to upload your video tutorial to YouTube, choosing AVI Video File is fine and then click Next. I usually leave the defaults on that next page and just click Next. Here, however, is the spot where you might want to check with YouTube experts. Optimal video size can vary based on multiple factors, though a YouTube guru out there can probably tell you the best sizes to go with here. Um, I like to produce a copy of the largest video size anyway, just for backup and future uses. Uh, and once you select a size, just click Next. Fill in the information for title, author, and copyright, then click Next here. Unless you just want to configure a watermark, click Next here. Uh, select the location where you want the file created and name the file. Then click Finish. From there, you just have to wait until the video has been rendered into an AVI file. Then you can upload to YouTube.